Hi guys. How's everybody tonight? Um, if you don't see the live button, then you'll be catching me on a playback. <clears throat> I would appreciate it if you put playback and give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down, whatever you want. Won't be hurt. Won't hurt my feelings at all. Okay. hear my son in there. I hope you can not hear him. He gets a little loud. He's in there. <clears throat> Does gaming online. Talks to his friends. Sometimes gets a little boisterous in there. There I am. Film me. So as you're coming in, say hi. Let me know that you're here. I'm trying to find myself out here. I have a laptop over here and my iPhone that I do this with, the comments are really small and I'm constantly taking my glasses on and off. So I put myself here, maybe, there we go. And then I take and I, in, I zoom it to like 150 and that way I can see comments without my glasses because yes, I'm blind. We are going to do Christmas stuff tonight. We are going to do it on this little tiny, our smallest board. These are our boxed frames. They are very heavy. They are double sided. Come with the dark side, like a natural wood side, and then they come with a whitewash side. Tonight we're going to do a white whitewash. No, I lied. We're going to do. I like. We're going to do this side. I'm going to tape off the um, sides and we're going to paint it with um, some black chalk paint. Dry that, wax it, and we're going to put um, layered wreath on it. <coughs> so I'm just going to use some regular blue painter's tape so I can find the end. Be smarter than the tape. There it is. Blended in really well. Okay, so I just kind of let my scissors go over there. Just going to put it down there so it, covered, it covers the. Um, sides because I'm not so I, I get a little crazy when I'm painting and I don't want to get paint on the side of my <coughs> excuse me Put that down turn this around Put it down like that Excuse me. We've been having really nice weather where I live. For some odd reason, it's the 2nd of October and we had 82 degree weather today. It's been sunny, it's been nice, and my body and my everything thinks that I have allergies. So I'm constantly clearing my throat, sneezing, which nowadays you sneeze and it, yeah, especially in public. Hi, Carrie. So we're going to paint this with um, black chalk paint. This is just the folk art chalk paint. Uh, 
I probably could have gotten a bigger paintbrush. Would have helped. And then I'm going to use my uh, dryer to dry this. Then we're going to wax it. And then we're going to chalk it. about as easy as it gets to paint your boards black. You use chalk paint so it looks like a chalkboard. Didn't take very long at all. Now I'm going to dry it. I'm going to throw my briar on the floor first though. That's a must. Hi Olivia. I managed to get some on the side there, but you won't be able to see it, so. Oh, went from this brown wood to this, and we're going to wax it. Of course, my wax is way over there. Just a little bit, not a lot. Okay, get this put away. There's a little spot I kind of missed down in here, so hold on. It's just in those little corners there. Okay. may hit the side of the house. I just chalk painted my uh, tumbler. Oh well. Okay, so we are going to make the wreaths. I'm going to use this layered wreath, one from New. Never been used, never been opened. Okay. We're going to do the layered wreath and then we're going to put... I think we may put believe in there. We'll just not chalk the, uh, we'll put the um, believe in the center. We just won't chalk the uh, stuff that's around it. We'll just use the words. We shall see by the time we're done here what, what's going to fit in there, but I believe that'll fit in there. I believe believe will fit in. I get a little dingy, weird. 
I've been doing overtime at work, so I go in and I'm at work at um, 6 o'clock in the morning. So I get up at like 4, 4.30. I'm a wee, little weird, so tired. And but I still plan to go on my, my web page when I'm done here and do another project similar to this one. I'm not going to go through and cut all these, just the ones that I want. Just the ones I can cut the other ones later. Awesome. Hmm. Well, good thing it's the corner because I just folded that over itself and it's stuck. I'll get it loose later with some warm water. start with this one this one has like a bow on it so I want it to be this one just has like the I don't know why I'm holding that up and can't see it so we're gonna fuzz you'll see it when it's done and we're gonna do a combination of one of the this bottom wreath will be um, pesto and the top wreath will be the uh, shimmer olive And then we'll do the bow. I don't know if I'm able to get the bow, maybe green too. We'll find out. And then um, maybe we'll do the bow and the shimmer crimson. And then we're going to do the believe in our shimmer frost. Okay. fuzzy right in the center of my silk screen. So we'll do the pesto first. And I stirred it up before we came on because it was really dry. We'll rub that through our silk screen. Wipe off the excess, put it back in the jar. Of course, I don't have my tub of water. I don't know if you can see that. I guess you can. It'll look much better and a lot of fuller when we get the other layer over the top of it. You dry that really quick so I can layer that side there. this
trying to get that bow like right on that where the cross. Okay, fingers crossed that this works. This is our shimmer olive. Super pretty color, but I'm kind of biased because green is my favorite color, so. to keep away from the bow because I want to put it red. This is our Shimmer Crimson, really dark like cranberry red. Okay, fingers crossed. it has to fall clear to the floor. to fuzz and put our Believe in, in white. I know, it turned out, it turned out pretty, I'm, See it up close, it kind of is just slightly off, but still, I don't think it's going to be that big of a deal. It's pretty. I like layer. I like the layered wreaths. I like it when you can like. I like some we had where you can like move the leaves around so it looks a lot fuller when you're done. We had the one that was called Squeeze the Day. It was so pretty. Okay. And then we're just going to do the believe and not the white or not the swirly things around it. So I'm going to use my uh, multi tool. far over. Okay, let's 
try it really quick. What y'all think? Really quick Christmas shelf sitter. And then you can redo the, I'm a, I'll probably eventually do the back side with um, either Thanksgiving or uh, Halloween. Probably paint it orange. Maybe I'll do that now. Let's do that now. How about that? A little extra bonus. Where's my orange? Some orange peel. Some water in the lid. Paintbrush. Now this orange peel is my old one and there's it's just like there's just a little on the bottom. I have a brand new one. So this is why I'm using trying to use up the what's left at the bottom of this. And I'm gonna try not to get it anywhere on the wood. Or the dark wood. Sloppy. Okay, let's dry this and then we'll put a second coat on that and then we will put, um, I think we're going to put hay pumpkin on here with black. One time I did a live, and I uh, squirted and I put the water bottle there. I didn't realize until the live was almost over that the water bottle was kind of, but nobody said anything. It's like, um, I ever put anything in the way so you can't see, please let me know. I felt bad. Okay, okay. Everything on the floor first. So we're going to do our hay pumpkin. Okay, and I 
I've used this multi times. It doesn't really need to be. Long way or short way? I'm gonna fight with it for a while here. Okay, Carrie, why is your comments not coming down here? Oh, you ordered a heat gun? That's cool. Be careful though if you don't want to fry your... That was my biggest fear with using them. That's why I used my blow dryer for the longest time. And then I kept seeing everybody else starting to use them. I thought, well, I'm really careful. <laughs> Excuse me. going to use I'm going to use black because I don't know where my shimmer black is right this second oh, brand new We're just stirring this up, putting some distilled water in because it's a little thick. down through that silk screen just like normal and then taking off the excess putting that back in the jar oops the jar will stay still places to shove that stuff. Okay. Hey, pumpkin. Dry this really quick because I want to maybe put some of these little flower star thingies on them. fuzzing towel down here so use that and I think we'll use our um, parakeet which is technically a retired color but I love it it's one of my favorites and I love it especially for Halloween
Definitely. Everything's a learning experience with this, right? It's always fun to watch other designers on, see what they're doing. I get so many ideas. So there we go. So I have Halloween, and then when it's done, I have Christmas. And then when I'm done with that, I put it away and pull it out next year. Or I sell it and make me a new one. Okay, I'm going to get off of here so I can get this all cleaned up, and then I will be going over to my page here in about 10 minutes. So you can join me there or if not, have a good night. Um, hopefully I'll see you next week. It's getting harder and harder to come on Friday nights at 8 because my husband is out of a job right now. So he doesn't want to go to bed at 8 o'clock. <laughs> but I kind of forced him into it tonight. He wasn't happy. So we'll see next Friday, see what happens. Hopefully I can be on. If not, I will see you when I can. Have a great night. Be kind to one another. Bye. Be safe.